Hallelujah. Beloved in Christ. The Almighty Jehovah has given us another day. What a, a wonderful Lord we said. Beloved, without wasting time, let us pray. Our Lord and our God, the Almighty King, you have given us another day. Immortal, everlasting God, we give you all your glory and honor for giving us a break as we are still alive for your children around the whole world. Oh, my Lord and my King, we magnify the name, the name that is above every name. Take all your glory, take all your honor. Unto thee, O oh Lord, we do all things are possible. What a savior, what a king, what our Lord. We magnify the holy name. Spirit of the living God, this is a filthy clay that I bear myself. Give me the utterance and let your word come forth. As your word is power. As your word is what we need. So this morning, this is a vessel you can use to magnify the Lord. I give you all the praise. I give you all the honor. Unto you, O Lord, with you, all things are possible. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved in Christ, I take this opportunity to greet the viewers of Prophet Kenewu that avail themselves daily to listen to the end time prophet. May your heart desire be met in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We give our God all the glory. Amen. Beloved, our God is so unique. Our God is so powerful. Today is another day. He has given us a breath and also he has given us a word. Without wasting time, let us go into the scripture about the word of God. And the title of my message is A Flame for God. A Flame for God. So without wasting time, let us read the scripture. That is Hebrew 1 and the verse is 7. Let's hear the word of God. Hallelujah. What a mighty Lord. The Savior, the one who knows us. Let's hear the word. And Hebrew 1, 7. And of the angels, he says, who make his angels a spirit, and his ministers a flame of fire. Hallelujah. Beloved, God ministers are to be flame of fire. That seems to a man's vision by the spirit power, the flame of fire. A flame of fire is perpetual fire. That consists a fire that continually continually burning, a holy inward of a flame. God has nothing less for us than to be a flame. We must have a living faith so that our Lord Jesus Christ is great and mighty power can flow through us until our lives become energized moved and a flame for God. Hallelujah. Oh, what a mighty Lord. We continue with the scriptures. That is 1 John 4.4. 4. Let's hear the word of God. 1 John 4.4. 4. As children of the most high God. You are of God, little children have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Hallelujah. Greater is in us than who is in the world. What is he talking about? The greater in us is the spirit that lives in us and is greater than Satan and his demons. So beloved, 
God is giving us and telling us that we have overcame them. And we know in Revelation 12 and verses 11, they overcame them. Who are them? Satan and his demons. So God is telling us in 1 John 4, 4, that we little children have overcame them. Beloved, the Holy Spirit in us is power, is authority, and is might. So the Bible is telling us to be awakened out of unbelief. And we all know unbelief belongs to Satan. Into a place of dying for God on authority for blessing of the Lord. Hallelujah. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ rebuke the devil and, and his demons and also destroy the works of the enemy. At the mention of the name, all knee bow, including Satan. God has given us the authority over the power of the devil. We must be holy, set apart for him. So let us hear what the Bible is telling us in Romans 12 and the verse is from two going. And do not be confounded to this world, but rather be transformed by renewing your mind that you may prove what is what is good and acceptable and a perfect will of God. So the more we remind, the more we change our mind, renew our mind, it will be acceptable. It will be acceptable to God. So beloved, we have to change our thinking and our thoughts. We must live in a place where his glory excels, so that we make a flame of fire. We are to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. That is a crown of our Lord Jesus Christ as our King. Hallelujah. Beloved in Christ, Lord's glory is to fill our soul and to melt us a new order that arises with us in his way. The knowledge of inward of our Lord Jesus Christ is longing to be an increase of our soul to be saved. Beloved, when our soul is saved, it will be with Christ for eternity. What a mighty Lord. I will sing a song to glorify him. He alone is worthy to be praised. He is worthy. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns, hallelujah. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. Hallelujah. We give the glory to the Lord. He reigns everywhere. He is our king. He is our Lord. He created us. So beloved, we have to glorify him. He is able to do it as suddenly, abundantly for us. Whenever we call the name of our Lord. Let us worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. We give 
all the glory unto our Lord Jesus Christ, the author of our lives, that still we are still here, that he has given us a life. Life belongs to him. He is the owner of life. So this morning, let us seek the face of God and worship him and glorify him because he has done so much for us. From our infancy up to now, he is our supplier. He is our planter. Oh, may his name be glorified. Unto him be the glory. The spirit of the living God, may you bless your end time prophet, the one that you have called, the one that you have ordained to win souls for your kingdom. May your name be praised. Spirit of the living God, bless him and his family and also his viewers that listen to the end time prophet in a daily basis. May you bless them. May their heart desire be met. Unto the old Lord, your will shall be upon us. We magnify the name. May your will shall be done. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, that this morning you have given us a word. And the word will quench our test. In Jesus' your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.